In our Hometown Heroes series, sometimes it just takes a helping paw to get through tough situations. Local 3's Rebecca Bartlemay introduces us to a member of Escanaba Department of Public Safety whose mission is to do just that. This sweet face could be someone's saving grace. Ira is an English style golden retriever. Um, she comes from working lines, which means that her relatives have also done service or therapy type of work. Um, and since genetics plays such a large part on if the dog is able to perform that task, um, we found it very important to get a dog from working lines. Um, and some of her, um, some of the characteristics that make her fit to do this job is she is very calm, she's very laid back, um, but she is also very attentive. Um, she wants she wants to start once she starts working she becomes very focused <clears throat> she's also incredibly obedient she wants to please us she wants to do what makes people happy Vera is in training right now to be a therapy dog with Escanaba Department of Public Safety well Sarah reached out to me with the idea we've been using um, blue which is the canine that they use at the Child Advocacy Center here in Delta County and blue has made huge strides with children that have gone through traumatic events of uh, physical and sexual abuse or witness of other events that happened in their life. And we've seen so much um, change in those kids and, and them being able to disclose what happened to them or what they witnessed and their anxiety levels with having to speak with somebody they've been a lot calmer and we're hoping that it would have that same effect on adult victims so Sarah reached out to me asking if we would be interested in, in taking part in that to see if we can also help adult victims uh, to tell their story a little bit easier maybe so that we can figure out you know what happened and what steps we need to take from there. It's a job to help a victim through the whole process. One of the goals we have with um, Vera and Blue both is we want um, we want the dog to be able to be with the victim from the time that they report the crime uh, to law enforcement or to the forensic interviewer um, all the way throughout the process of if they have to go to the hospital, um, if they have to, um, in, in the case that they may have to um, testify in court. We want the dog to be able to be with them throughout that entire process so that they're not going through that alone. Now seven months old, Vera is expected to be done with training and serving on all four paws at the end of May with Detective Sergeant Marchese. I'm very excited. I look forward to seeing how many people that we can reach and really how we can help them through the healing process of what happened to them. Reporting in Escanaba, Rebecca Bartlemay, Local 3 News.